What's up, guys? Welcome back to uh, Still Snitching. Want to get part six, right? Last time we talked about the town of St. Johnsbury as a whole. Uh, you know, and one of the things we touched on was Jack Harris of Lindenville PD. And hardly mentioned Derek Campbell and stuff. And uh, we're going to start, we'll start right off with like kind of highlighting them. So Jack Harris, like I said, randomly showed up one day, right? I'm like at Learn, it's like early on, it's probably been like oh four, maybe late oh three. But uh he's only going to their town hall just right then and there to convince them that he should be the cop. So he's there pretty much to like arrest me and frame me by the end of uh by the end of the school year. So he's somewhat obsessed with like Sandwich High School and Ben Avery and like Timmy Walsh and he wants in on the prom queen Timmy action, he knows Ben Avery. And he wants to frame me and like control me to make sure that like if Ben does like because Ben thinks he's gonna die when he's eighteen. And eventually they either fake his murder, which I think they just fake his death, his overdose. But like Ben Avery you know, was a strange situation because a because guys like uh, Jack Harris, like say, like Jack Harris, is a lot older than me, but it'd probably be someone who'd be acting like Ben Avery a lot of the times in those school situations. A lot of the times they'd be subbing Ben Avery out with a guy in his thirties, and you're talking about you know, in high school and middle school, you know. So it was always a scary situation to know Ben Avery because a lot of times it was a kid. But then there's also like older adults that are like in his family or look similar to like a Ben Avery, which kind of looks like a Brent from a uh, guy that works in the jail or works for work crew with Larry. The guy Brent, the short shorts Brent. Okay, yeah, he kind of looks like a Brent, like a Ben Avery, I guess as a kid. But like, you know, they'd also have adults that look like that, like sub in for Ben Avery. So when dealing with Jack Harris saying like, you know, something related to Ben Avery, you just, just don't think, you know, guys that are doing that type of shit. You know, because they think they have a better chance at coding shit or, you know, playing with the computers and messing with everyone's lives. So what happened to Ben Avery at the end? I don't really know. They say he overdosed on a bus related to like a bad bag that he had sold other people that they made him do more or less. You know, like in that he was, I don't know, and plus I just remember people saying that Ben, you know, thought that, you know, the class, class wouldn't be able to live without him. So he was like, you know, he's planning on killing a bunch of people in the class, you know, he's slowly trying by selling back heroin towards the end or something. Something or another. So the, so the whole like, you know, avenge Ben Avery thing or make sure your life sucks if Ben Avery dies at 18. Is pretty much Harris's like main main goal of coming to Lindenville and becoming the cop in O three or O four. And uh yeah, so after so, so he must get an okay from their town hall to be the cop. And uh you know, swears himself in and during that duration of that either the year like he doesn't build that police station either. Because one of the many things Ben Avery does in 01 is buy like a store shell, like a store frame for a building, you know, which is probably, you know, probably meant for something else. Like it was meant for his own pizza place, if I remember correctly, and like one of the classes or something. I have no idea, you know, possibly Domino's, something as silly as that, like might match an old Domino's with an old fucking pizza hut like something really really silly as far as what he's using as a police station might literally just be that so so yeah jack harris and then right next to him right next to where he builds his police station Derek campbell lives like the guy who eventually records our cds in you know oh five oh six oh seven most likely you know filming and recording us for this guy jack harris and you know it's all just a very controlled situation at first, I assume. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was always, always a little off 
you know, Derek Campbell always had, even to this day, he still has that lawless, uh, that lawless kind of shit he throws out there, you know, as far as, yeah, like, you know, he's, he's a cop's pet rat that lives next door to the station that they stole from Sandwich High School, and he just made a police station out of it, and this guy just never left, you know, and I remember the guy, Ed, from Learn, saying, like, you know, you know, they did this before, man, they fucked you over, right, they both in it for the big score, you know, he's just there to make sure that Ben doesn't die at 18, but eventually steals our school and creates a police station. And, you know, and Kate steals all that money and buys a house or puts it into her house, like, right away. Like, they're both in it for the, you know, he's saying how they're both in it for, like, one year, big grabs, right? But they end up staying all the way till the end. And, you know, this it becomes that easy to point out, you know, and how silly the situation is that, uh, that he found himself in by the end of uh, me being there, at least, in spring 04. This is a guy, Ed, who's like the principal at Learn. Because Kate Campbell's really not like a, or he's a vice principal, or vice versa, or one or the other. They're just like, you know, she's just a criminal, like, trying to get a big score in the education system. Who knows Ed? She's like a rag for his old band. He's like a folk player himself. Kind of, you know, plays the harmonica and plays the acoustic. Does the whole deal. So. But she eventually does at the graduation. I have a format for her school. You know, it's really not my type of stuff. And I really don't understand it. But it's just more of that folk shit. Like the strange, strange blend of like bluegrass and something else. And like, uh. So. With Derek Campbell, I can feel right away, just like Harris. You know, one of those, like, you know, I'm close to this Illuminati computer or something, or I'm close to a high school where I can access this shit and mess with your shit and steal shit from you or know shit ahead of time, like watch these shoot interviews ahead of time and be able to cheat and try to, like, you know, do the crimes again, like, better or, or I don't know, prevent this, this kind of ending, but it's, like, it's always going to be this kind of ending where it's, like, a shoot interview on people. And, like, the smallest details, like, you know, within every memory. Like, this memory is, like, attached to, like, all that crazy shit. Because I just, I just remember towards the end, like, at some point, I'm in a court with Jack Harris, dude. And I'm not sure what he, like, abducts me over and when this happens. You know, it, it feels more recent than that is the problem. That's why it's so freaky in my fucking head, you know. Like, I was talking about Stan Sears, that image of him, like, getting all upset during, uh, during a disagreement, like about like me lying and saying he suddenly lives here, at least sometimes that after 2015, saying he lives with me and all that shit, and proceeds to stab me to death. And you know, and the last things I remember is like him asking me why, like I made him do it or something. He's like, I didn't make you do it. I just don't want to, you know, lie along with the situation. But like at some point, I'm in the courthouse, man, with Lisa and Jack Harris. Okay, and Jack Harris is like complaining about these type of videos. Like he's gonna rat on me. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, I stole this building from there. Like I can't like pay him money, you know, for the building I stole. Like what do you want me to give you? Hypothetical money. So I don't, I don't really know what Ben bought that with. If so, you know what I'm saying? And what and like you know, and how. And how you got your hands on them. Did Ben die and you just stole shit out of Ben's, like, accounts and stuff like that? Like, I I don't know, man, what he was going to use it for or what he wasn't going to use it for, like, after high school or, you know, like, the class after. So, or, like, what the class would do after graduation. Like, I have no idea what it was going to end up being, if that's the case. And that's one of the big issues he's complaining about and just... I know, like, you know, he's, like, fucking Officer Rags, pretty much. Guy has worse gang, like, slang, dialogue, and chatter than me I could ever imagine. Every other fucking word out of his mouth is rag once he gets going. This guy here is a real piece of shit. And I just, I can tell, like, the whole, how, how it's all working with him and Derek, too. How they're preying on people and preying on, like, you know, victims that they can blackmail and frame and shit. And I've just, like, evaded them and their bullshit this whole time. Like, in so many different ways. 
And at one point, Jack Harris actually takes me hostage to at learn after the school year. Because, like, the whole, fir- uh, <clears throat> the whole frame fell through with Timmy and shit. When Bill was going to sell him all those drugs that they had stolen. And, like, Derek ratted on him or something. And, like, Jack Harris supposed to arrest everybody with the drugs. And get the drugs and give them to Derek. And Derek can sell them at the fish show. So that doesn't happen. Because Timmy ends up robbing Bill and uh, David. Not the not the real little David either. This is already this is already far beyond like uh or maybe not, I don't know. I am not sure when little David from Wasaga gets fucking killed by Just Music. In the most like heartless situation ever. But that is also just more stuff that like Harris makes happen when I'm going to school in Lindenville. Like, you know, he's able to somehow Blur the lines of town. Like, I'm living in St. Johnsbury, but he's in Lindenville, and he's really, like, fucking up a lot of people's lives, like, really fast. And not really thinking ahead of time. There's all this shit he's saying in court and stuff, too. With this lady, Lisa. And then she's out of nowhere. You know, I let him know, like, I'm not in Lisa Warren's fucking gang, dude. I'm not sure what kind of a court situation we're in right now, how you got me in here, why it's me, you, and her. I am not in her fucking gang. I am not, like, yeah. Uh, providing extra bodies on our count of Russian students or whatever the fuck her, like, main mission was. Yours was to frame me and get out and, like, you know, somehow, much like Bennett on the fucking fifth, dude. Like, you're just obsessed with Ben Avery saying he's going to die at 18. And, you know, you're trying to hold me hostage, basically, till Ben Avery is 18. So, yeah. So you never left, and yeah, I'm not in her gang, and just like that guy Ed from Learn said, you know, that kind of shit's not hard to, like, point out, like, you know, at some point or another. And with Derek Campbell, it's, like, not hard to point out, because, I mean, I just know personally this guy's very untalented. All he does is steal music. All he does, you know, all he does is badmouth people. All he does is rat on people. All he does is you know, mess with people like Account Amount of Arts. Like somehow he like messed with me several times early on when I was in high school, so I wouldn't be in their um like talent show thing, like finding a star or something. So he could like set up people to win like Molly Stone, he like, you know, cheated and let win, he's cheated and like let his daughter win, like just all the same ways by like framing and like setting up other people that they're interested in paying for to to see, not the people that you're cheating to have win and stuff, so it was a real shitty situation, you know, because the people you've had cheat to win just look like shit eventually, you know what I mean, you always feel bad for those people, but you can still be angry at, like, a Derek Campbell forever, because, like, you know, it's just a shady, bad cop's pet rat, you know, he's Jack Harris's pet rat, and if you look at him, he looks like a giant, like, rat. You know, like a skinny sewer rat. So. And I'm pretty sure he's from the same area as Jack Harris. You see what I'm saying? Like, originally, these guys aren't from VT either. These guys came from other, you know, areas. Like, with intention to steal these kinds of things from, like, me and those schools. And, you know, harm those same people and redux some kind of story that they watched. Or... Something similar to that I had told on this that they're just like, you know, playing off of. So. That is how I perceive it. We'll see that court situation. Just trying to think more Jack Harris. Jack, Jack, Jack. Because, you know, he's obviously like, you know, trying to be McBride. You know what I'm saying? There's some guy who's trying to be McBride. He's trying to befriend people. But he's not McBride. This is a fucking bully, okay? This is like Eric Coughlin in McBride's spot, dude, okay? This isn't, yeah. This isn't like McBride where it's like McBride's a piece of shit and an asshole, but like McBride's not like a bully, you know? He's not like a like a real, real, like, jealous, uh, you know, bully, you know? McBride, you know, McBride didn't last long. I mean, what was that? McBride was out by 07. This guy, this guy Jack Harris, is still here. Still probably asking for, you know, rags and all these kinds of shit. 
every time you know someone reminds him that he's off some rags from the Avery gang. Not fucking yeah. Not Wyatt Earp, dude. Just don't see you as the hero in the story. Even in like the new memories, you're just like the craziest like psychopath, bad cop ever, dude. So, but not really. Like I've seen worse cops. It's just something about you and those like situations, you know. Not to say Kate Campbell wasn't a huge piece of shit. Not to say like Keith and stuff, but it's like Keith. You know, was a piece of shit, but like, just like McBride, though, what I was saying, like, he's like, but we, he's trusting everybody but me. Like, this kid Timmy probably just shot you with a trank on, on one of your first days at Learn, dude. Like, showing up in the building, he just like laid off a trank in you. And you don't, you might not even know it. And it's like, but he laid him off on us, too. And it's like, I'm not really sure. And then after, you know, you're still ready to like fault and say, Timmy's the prom king for me. Yes, sirree. And, you know, I'm sure you're getting, like, you know, uh, raise a hope for Benny and the boys. Like, back in Sandwich during all this. Like, oh, yeah, it's all going to turn out good. Like, no, it probably turns out horrifying for those fucking kids at the end, dude. You know, if they can't, like, you know, send a hundred of the fucking class to college for free for four years. Like, you know, it's like, it's like probably absolutely horrifying the things they were promising, the things they were doing. And the promises they were making were like never keepable after, after a certain point, you know, because they were really weren't working hard, man. They were just relying on like stolen work and copied work and, you know, shit like that, man, for the big money, and like you know, all the promises they made and all the things they did at Sandwich High School, you know, just I don't know what to say about those guys, you know, what happened. I have no idea. You know, although there was some drama and some confusion, if it was real, or just real fake death, Devin style, you know, or with a little bit more convincing, you know, where they see him dead on the bus or something, like they OD and just everyone leave the bus, leave Ben just sitting there on the fucking bus, OD, like they were that mad at him, like I believe it, dude. I'm telling you, man, they had like 40 year old guys subbing in for this fucking kid some days in seventh and eighth grade. It was really sketchy. So, I can only imagine, like, you know, the kind of fucking madness that, uh, that entitled being involved with Ben Avery and those guys during, uh, 2001 to 2004, you know? When you think, like, I accuse, like, Har, Adrian Har, that cop who helped cover up the goth stuff. It's like, if that isn't Chad Bennett, okay, just with a fake fucking name, and probably here pretending to be a cop for a while so he can fuck with me and do all the same things, I'd be more surprised if not. It just comes off like Chad Bennett, the cop that was with him, came off like Ben Avery. You know, I swear I've seen the same collective of guys, you know, those last couple of years in St. Johnsbury, you know. Every time I go out, you know, seeing, you know, seeing that collective of guys of that gang, and you know, it just seems like you know some of the Harris could be still, you know, still the main, the main go-to. You know what I'm saying? And keep sending people from there to to the St. J area to act out some shit from the 100, right? Like, is that what they were doing back in, like, 2016, 2017? I mean, you know, you know, you didn't drop off 100 fucking, you know, ex-Sandwich High School, Sped alum, Prom King Jimmy 09 gang who just been hanging around, strung out for the last few years, running in and out of the school, trying to blackmail people. You didn't just drop them off in fucking St. John's or nothing. And, like, you know, tell them to restart there and get the gang going and shit, the academy, and give them a bad folder and tell them to do it again. Nah, nah. I'm just saying Harris might be the guy channeling some of that because originally it is all Harris. So I'm not really sure. And I just remember that court situation now with Harris and Lisa. So I really, uh, you know, I really get like, you know, a little com- uncomfortable thinking about that shit. And just, you know, when it's like, out of, when it's like questioned of when that really is all from. Memory-wise, the last.
last couple of days, I just like keep replaying that shit. It's and stab me at the end of Jungle Book, or whatever the fuck that was. And like you know, I've been checking out the Juggalo book like information, and even just see their Twitters back online. Like, it just looks like they've done like three launches of the fucking thing, and one pretty fucking recent. It was like all three launches, like you know, time, you know, not that any any other time between 2010 and 2021 wasn't suspicious in St. Johnsbury, but this in particular is like suspicious, like the timing. Everything you can detail, like on their Juggalo book Twitter, just pictures of the, you know, um, of the program running, like you know, hundreds of sites at once, and this guy just checking out the Juggalo book stats. It's like, man, you couldn't, and I just remember all that types of shit too, being like told to me, in any one shape or form. Like all these songs I'm releasing right now, people have so much like fucking like issues with, like at some point or another. And it's like, I haven't made them yet, you know, so you shouldn't be giving me shit about Tales on the Trail or fucking Electronic Machete, you know? Like, I literally just made those this last month for the Donna Project 2. And so many of these songs, I just have, like, the worst kinds of fucking memories attached before or after to. And it's, like, issues. Same with these videos. I just remember people bitching about these videos, like Tom ran in Sandwich in 96 to see these, some of these fucking videos somehow. Like, how different are these videos from the ones that Tom Rand is, like, ready to fucking, like, torture me over in 96 and I'm only 11? Like, how different are we talking? Like, hey, Harris, what's up? How different is this video from the one that, like, made you fucking kidnap me midday, like, in St. Johnsbury? For one reason or another, after you falsified evidence and falsified a case and reasoning and warrants and evidence and all these kinds of crazy shit, Jack Harris, and then just suddenly abandoned ship? Or what? what's going on, Jack? If you haven't abandoned ship, you didn't even ship that you stole in the first place. So, you know, I don't know. Some of it's aggravating, some of it's not aggravating. Some of it's just silly, kind of like the guy Ed said from Learn. It's like, man... You have no idea how, like, how serendipity some of it really will be. Because they will be that stupid again to hang around and just, like, yeah. And just hope for one reason or another you've been incriminated beyond point that you can't, like, rat on them is their best hope. You know, so they're shoving bodies under your staircases or shoving bodies in your closet. Like, they might even, Jack Harris might shove a fucking body under this bus, dude. And say, like, you know. And say, uh, you know, you upload a Juggalo book or something. That's how silly some of these memories are, like, of, of like, accusations and reasons why I'm being kidnapped and held hostage in random places like a room rooms and fucking jails, like, in between the laws and in between, like, uh, the justice system or education system and being forced in and out of these places. You know, for one reason or another. And then never remedy for the situation afterwards. You know, now I just sit here and what, I'm just supposed to rat on you guys and, like, complain how, like, I can't order a fucking Domino's out here or something. Or, like, complain how there's no, like, plumbing. You know, how fucking annoying that gets a little bit. You know, I mean, it's livable, but it's like... I don't have a fucking, I don't have transportation, so I just sit here and just think about all these things and these memories, and you just think, like, this is, like, something that people want, right? At least some of you people want me to do. They want me to tell you that Stan Sears is still pretending to be Sean Galley. They want you to tell me that Jack Harris got that that building's frame or shell somehow from a many, like, account loot or something. Something or another. They you think they can use for like a new school or something, I don't know. But you know just somehow, some way. That's all that easily tied together. Saturday morning here. And Terry Campbell, huh? Do I think he's like stealing music and shit? I don't know, man. 
when I was making music with him, he'd always ask me too, like, what, you know, are you going to put your shit online? You know, aren't you scared that people are going to steal it? Not really, man. I mean, what, you know, just people have been trying to steal it from Illuminati rooms for like ever. I mean, you're playing handbag with a fucking shoe, dude. How'd you get a copy of handbag with a shoe? Know what I mean, dude? I don't know. So yeah, I'm always scared that, I'm not scared, but you know, I never liked the idea that people could like steal shit from the, from Illuminati rooms and recreate it like really quickly or something. That's really silly, but. But I'm not afraid of like making a song and putting it on SoundCloud. That's what you mean. Like, I don't know. What's someone going to do? Like, rap my verse and just not say this verse is by Eddie, like, out loud? Or what are they going to do? You know? I don't get it. Yeah. And like I explained to him, like, okay, well, if someone steals one song, all right, they're going to need like another song that sounds like that song. Okay, and then they're going to be up to like five stolen songs. When you have like five stolen songs, you know, then you have too many stolen songs. But they're still st stolen songs, so I don't know. You know, I don't think stealing songs is like that smart. I mean, I don't know, it just, that, it just depends. Like, what are you stealing from the songs? Are you stealing word for word? Like, same beat, same everything, where you're just like hearing some kind of symphony or some kind of like, you know, some kind of groove you didn't hear. And you're just rewriting the words and it sounds like it's like, I don't, I don't know, that's not that bad. Would it stand out? Yeah, yeah, it depends on like, you know, how, how much of a ripoff it is, man. You know? I guess. No idea. It hasn't really happened. It happened a couple of times, like on forums with like kids and shit. So that's not even word for word. I mean, that's just someone, you know, making a song that sounds like another one. It is annoying to have it happen like right next to you, like if, like with Bill. Yeah, you know, if I write a song and then you know you just do a rewrite it and it just sounds like it. It's like yeah, that would be pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. It's not as bad as just, you know, taking a fucking song and word for word and taking the same beat and saying, it's fucking mine, dude, because I, I got a better recording of it or something. It's like, okay, you know, that's that's pretty that's a pretty shitty thing to do, you know, because, I mean, the Internet's meant to share. So it's like, yeah, I'm sorry if there's guys like you, Derek Campbell, who have, like, the worst kind of Internet intentions. Like, you're worried that, like, someone might play a song of yours for free or you're worried that someone might realize that you stole a bunch of fucking music, so you say, I just don't want to give away my music for free. It's like you don't want to put your music online because you stole a bunch of shit, dude, and that's the bottom fucking line when it comes to, like, you know, am I scared that someone's going to steal my music? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I still don't know. I don't pay into that shit. You know? Scared someone's gonna steal your music? I don't know, dude. I'm sure Frank Zappa is scared some fucking cornball is gonna like cover a bunch of his fucking music and you know, quote his ideals or whatever the guy's about. And I'm sure that's you know, someone's fear too. <laughs> and again, I'm not really sure like the interaction of these like you know, chants or. Prom King Jimmy gang members really had with people like Derek or Catalan Arts or St. John's Ray Academy. Like, you know, these are years when I'm like, you know, very, uh, very, to put it like Harris would, recluse, right? Jack Harris, I'm a recluse. I just remember this guy was like so weird with the Illuminati shit too. He's like, oh yeah, you know, I keep replacing rock star with recluse, recluse. It's like, man, you know, you can put it down as many times as you want, dude, on some kind of Illuminati, you know, souped up uh, how you died on the Oregon Trail game engine, but, you know, I just don't think, uh, think it matters, but, you know, maybe, I mean, here I am a recluse, so, you know, maybe you're right, you know, 
over a course all those years. I worked hard on that music that made so many people jealous of me. You know, I was a recluse now with all this shit that's obviously going to make people fucking jealous again. So, yeah, I guess you were right about a couple of things, dude. So, it's like, am I right about that being McDonald's? Am I right that you have Derek Campbell as a pet rat? Am I, like, right about a lot of stuff, dude, that you've been doing still? You still making them gang moves off to rags? Is everything a gang move and every bitch a fucking rag? going on? What's going on, Jackie boy? So yeah, I'm trying to think more Derek Campbell. So yeah, the kind of my art stuff, it was a real setup situation, man. You know, it just felt really weird. Like, it just this thing in my head, I'll like, how Harris is probably like sending Derek Campbell there, right? And he said it, Derek Campbell, like, spent class students from Linnville, like, to integrate them into, like, Derek Campbell's, like, now, like, you know, kind of on our situation and how it's just one big, like, yeah, one big fuck show all around or something, huh? With Derek trying to blackmail people and people being blackmailed and bad cops trying to send, like, you know, deranged rags and brainwashed kids and way older adults like from gangs out of state related to things they have no idea about with shit they can never like uh imagine seeing as far as like holograms or maybe uh discs with endless amounts of site designs that are just ready to be launched by the hundreds you might get pennies on everyone that gets viewed something real stupid you never know what Jack Harris is up to. Not to take the blame off St. Johnsbury PD and their obsession with the same kinds of shit. So, but, just to point out some weird shit, I can just go in there. They put like, you know, Jack Harris exposed or something on there for this part. Just give me short because I don't really want to ramble and kind of go inside and make some noodles or something and probably some tweets about how Jack, you know, piece of shit and stuff I remembered within the last couple of days. But, all right, have a good time, guys. This is, uh, what do you say this is part five, right? Or part two of part five of the Jack Harris highlight. Still snitching.